For the past six months, I have been using the LG CX 55 inch OLED TV as my primary monitor for my computer. I've mainly been editing YouTube videos, editing photos, and also doing a little bit of gaming in the evenings on this display. Now for a bit of a comparison in today's review, I did recently purchase an ultra wide display so I could experience that workflow compared to how I've been using the LG CX because a lot of people were saying I was an idiot for buying the LG CX and spending so much on a TV when I could have just bought an ultra wide display. Now being honest and just straight to the point, I think the ultra wide displays are more overrated than actually the OLED technology inside of the CX, but I'll save my review of an ultra wide for a later video. So be sure to subscribe for that if you are interested. But currently I have a dual monitor set up with the ultra wide as my primary display and then my LG CX above that for all of my color grading and more color accurate work within my workflow. And this has been working really well. Now an issue I've had with the 55 inch display Although this is technically the best value for money out of the entire range, an issue is because it's so big and I use this 85% of the time as a computer monitor, getting my desk placed far enough away from the display so I can see it, but also getting the TV at the correct height has been very frustrating. I ended up almost having my desk really far away from the wall, which then meant my office felt quite small because the desk was in the middle of the room. Now, if you strictly intend to use the CX as a computer monitor, I do recommend maybe considering getting the 48 inch version of this display. I just think maybe the 48 inch monitor may be slightly easier to place within your home office, whether that be on a desk or on the wall. Another frequent question I got from the last video was, have I experienced any burning on the display? Now I do feel like this is a bit of a daily question. I think with all of the new pixel shift technology and all of the sort of combated features LG have added onto the latest screens, this is no longer really a major issue with OLED technology. Unless you're gonna be using the TV 24 seven and you're never gonna switch it off for like over a year, I don't think you're going to have any issues with burning. And if you do, it's going to be very, very marginal. I've had none whatsoever, and I use this TV roughly between 9 a.m. all the way up to probably half 10 at night. It doesn't get switched off once. Now, a final thing about the LG CX that you do need to consider is the price. Now, I spent 1,299 pounds on the 55 inch LG CX. And for a standard computer monitor, that price seems very excessive. However, for a high-end computer monitor, that price is actually sort of on the lower end. Now, if you want a computer monitor that's got one millisecond response time, high refresh rates, G-Sync, FreeSync technology, insane color accuracy, the minimum you are going to spend is at least 1,300 pounds on an LG ultra wide display, which is one that I did consider picking up. However, the LG CX is 100 pounds cheaper than an ultra wide display. It's 55 inch instead of 38 inch, and it also is a TV. So at night when you've finished working, you can use it to watch Amazon Prime, to watch YouTube, to watch BBC iPlayer, Netflix, all of your different favorite shows on an insane experience. When it comes to watching a movie on this screen, it's unbelievable. I watched Star Wars The Mandalorian on an LG CX, and I had never seen anything so beautiful. You could see all of the detail the colorists had put in to crafting such a beautiful image, stuff you'd never experienced just watching it on a normal television. And additionally, if you're a gamer, the new LG OLEDs are some of the best displays you can purchase. It's got HDMI 2.1, which means if you've got an Xbox Series X, PS5, it supports 4K 120 Hertz, and also the response time is exceptionally low when in game mode. So yes, you definitely can use the LG CX as a computer monitor and have a fantastic experience. I'll provide some links down below if you want to purchase this TV that will help support the channel and give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future.